at last, what we've been waiting for with bated breath. The well-renowned potato pudding or atapulpurin. Master this one and no doubt you'll have a place of honor at any function. You'll hear utterances like, Mmm, starum lekkerne. The younger generation may say, A pudding made out of potatoes. But never mind, this is a traditional treat. And right now, we'll show you how to make this age-old delicacy. For rich and creamy potato pudding, you'll need the following ingredients. 1 kilogram of potatoes, 250 grams of butter or margarine, 500 ml or 2 cups of sugar, 250 ml or 1 cup of self-raising flour, 1 liter of milk, 6 jumbo eggs, 5 ml or 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence, 5 ml or 1 teaspoon of almond essence or to taste and 5 ml or 1 teaspoon of salt. Now for the method. Peel, cube and boil the potatoes until soft. Add salt to this. It's a good idea at this stage to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. While the potatoes are hot, add the butter and mash together. Also add the sugar and stir. The butter and sugar will dissolve in the hot potato mixture. Set the mixture aside and allow it to cool. In a separate bowl, mix one cup of self-raising flour with approximately two-third cups of milk to form a paste. Add this flour paste mixture to the potato sugar mixture and blend thoroughly. In a separate bowl, Crack the six eggs and add the vanilla and almond essence. Whisk the eggs lightly and add this to the potato mixture. Mix everything through thoroughly. Lastly, add the milk and give it a final mix through. Pour the mixture through a sieve into a Pyrex dish. By doing this, the potato pudding won't have any lumps. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for approximately 45 minutes to an hour. When the potato pudding is removed from the oven, it may look wobbly like parsed jelly. But don't worry, set the pudding aside to cool completely. In order to avoid the pudding from sticking to the side of the Pyrex, it's a good idea that when the potato pudding is removed from the oven, that you use the back of a spoon to push the sides of the pudding down. Serve completely cooled off pudding with stewed fruit and enjoy. No traditional function is complete without the potato pudding. It's one of those recipes that gets passed on from generation to generation. And we all have that one aunt who always makes the puddings for the functions. This recipe is such a hit. Don't be surprised if you start being called on to make the potato puddings.